Well, a junior from Lehigh High School has come up with an alternative to a math theorem that's been around for hundreds of years. Yeah, Brock Brown's new theorem was recently discovered by a professor at UVU. This weekend, Brock will introduce his work to college professors from around the country. Christina Flores with more, and this is no ordinary student, Christina. Yes, that is very clear. Brock has been getting a lot of attention lately here at Lehigh High School, and it is pretty clear that his mathematical abilities are unlike those of most of his peers. 16-year-old high school junior Brock Brown has never taken a piano lesson in his life. And he says he's not a great student. I don't get good grades. But recently, he proved his own theory that sometimes the smartest people aren't the ones with the best grades. Equation-based analysis. Brock found a shortcut to what's known in math as a binomial expansion. And he's able to tie everything together in a way that I guess you could say isn't normal for a typical 16-year-old. That's Ben Moulton, a Utah Valley University professor who got wind of Brock's discovery and was impressed. Brock's idea makes it faster, easier, and a lot less painful. Binomial expansions have been used for hundreds of years. Brock came up with his shortcut in one class period. By the end of the class period, I had it figured out. It took me probably another five minutes or so to come up with a way to write it in a simplified equation. Professor Moulton took Brock's theorem to his colleagues. Yeah, they were pretty impressed. Um, similar stuff's been done but not to this level of simplicity and elegance, I don't think. This weekend, Brock will present his work to college professors at a conference in California to see what they think. But I'd love to see him be a math major someday. <laughs> Surprisingly, Brock has other plans. I want to be a seminary teacher. Brock hopes at the very least his discovery can help others realize that math is everywhere. Math is related to English, is related to science, is related to the arts. And the ability to do math is in everyone. It's been my like lifelong thought that nobody is bad at math. Professor Moulton says he already sees some potential uses for Brock's theorem, like in the field of computer science or perhaps in finance. As for Brock, he says he really doesn't want fame and fortune. He just hopes at the very least to inspire other young people to see the beauty in math. Mark and Shauna, back to you. How is it possible that he's not a good student when he has that kind of <laughs> intellect? <laughs> yeah, he says, you know, I get B's sometimes. Wow. Never a straight A student, but you know, he did make a good point though that a lot of times a lot of kids get stunted and trying to learn one way and they're really a lot smarter and so sometimes they have to find their own way to do Genius. their best. Good story. Yes. Yeah. Good story. <laughs> Christina, thanks.